Hey everybody. Hey what? <clears throat> Anyways, Hasbro here. How are you all doing? So, um, we are back here and we've got to collect some art over that way for some pansy in that bar. So, um, let's, um, let's get over there. Now, I've also got a job to help Ator to recover because he's the only one as well that knows about waltz. So why I didn't give him the information there and then, I don't know. And I really need to power up on that. Huh. That was a bit delayed. Hey! What's up? Not as much as you are. Damn, I fucked him up. Fucked him up too. <sighs> Oops. Oops. Um. Let's grab this shit and get out of here. <laughs> I swear I felt the ground shake. Which is not good. It's hmm, so over there. No shit. What around here looks right to you? Here. There's the tower.
Hmm. Okay. This is going to be stupid, but fuck it. me. Oh, let's go. I really need to hunt them down. Oh, hello, guys. What happened at the bazaar sets the right exam. Yeah. Oof. Oh, um. Let's see, you guys stay asleep. I'll go around. I could not resist kicking him up the ass. The opportunity presented itself. Oh, excuse me. Out the way, jackass. Hmm? Hey, um. You know how I'll go upstairs? Oh, thank you. I'll uh, go through this way. Thank you. How's it going? You there yet? Uh, not yet. I've reached the building, but. How did you say I should get to the top? Use a vent. There should be one on the roof. When you get there, stand on it, jump, and open your paraglider. Easy. That sounds sketchy. Name the last non-sketchy thing you've done running around this town. Touche. I like her. She's cool. This is dodgy. <laughs> Ooh. I don't want to jump backwards too far and end up killing myself. Oh, I almost fell off. Holy shit. Nailed it! So. Let's see. What am I looking for? Any kind of art, I suppose.
Hmm. Does it look like anything here? Let's have a look. 18th century town sketch. Fields impressions. Still life with fruits abstract. Lady with red hat, 19th century. Shepherds, 16th century. Ah, a list of what he took, it seems. Juan would be pleased. What about this one, then? I'm sorry, but it seems there's isn't room for you in the helicopter after all. I'll try to send <clears throat> another. Don't worry, I had to save the collection. Yours, T. Fuck. He took his paintings, but no room for Jessica. <laughs> one romantic son of a bitch. Now who, or what, is Jessica? Voice message from 5.36 p.m. Mr. Bukowski, your transport is en route to you. The art collection should be on the roof already. As soon as the chopper is over the city, we'll call again. The one. I think I found a stash. A helicopter was coming for this guy. They sent everything to the roof. I'm headed there to look. Good luck. Well, I was just... I was just up there! Oh, the actual fuck. Oh, this way again. <laughs> oh, that's it. There's like a lot going on around here. Right, search the roof. left everything's been destroyed hey Luan found our collector but no sign of his collection Luan hey you there Jesus Aiden I told you I was leaving okay quick thing nothing here except for a bottle of whiskey and one of vodka at least the whiskey's the good stuff Juan likes a good whiskey maybe if you get him shit-faced he'll loosen up so to speak is he mm. still in the canteen? I saw him leaving. Seemed to be heading back to the ship. Probably to his quarters. Right, okay. I'll go there. And listen. That vodka? Danier is a big fan. If you're planning to drop by, which you probably aren't. But if you really want to get to know this city, this is the way. Just saying. Okay. Talk to one again. Let's attempt it in your party. Whee! Oh! Hi, guys. Yeah. 
Oh, hi. My knees. Up we go. I didn't think it would be so tough. Grapes are always a lot of work. If only we didn't have to work so quickly. I chose to go to the party instead. Happy birthday, Daniel. Oh, so you have come after all. Yeah, here, a little something to celebrate another year on the planet. What do you want from me, Gacho? What do you mean? What do you need? Why the gift all of a sudden? <laughs> but the one said it's your birthday, so I thought you... I understand the concept of a birthday gift. To get it said in a war. Yeah, uh... Okay, uh, listen. Happy birthday. <sighs> Lost the bet, but <laughs> at least I have something to cheer me up. Well, bet. Never mind. Lavon is at the bar. You invited me. <laughs> Didn't you want me here? Let me get a bottle so you can catch up with us. Hey, Ro? Off duty, hmm? Uh, listen, you know how stressful things can be sometimes. You get your orders, they don't make any sense. You're fighting the clock to get shit done. Oh, I feel you. Trust me. So, you made it. The Juan won. The one? Is this about <laughs> some bet? Yeah, with Daniel. She was sure you'd come. Him, not so much. It's almost as if it mattered to her. That's unusual. Here, Aiden. <laughs> Drink. Nicholas's finest booze. We were about to play a game. No, Luan, we weren't. Come on. I'm out. Yeah, count me out. Too drunk already. A bunch of losers. Aiden, are you playing? What's the game? What game? Don't bother. You'll just end up really drunk and humiliated. Aiden, the longer we talk, the more time we give this grump to back out. You in or out? Yeah, fuck it. Just okay. loosen up. Let's do it. My man! Rules are simple. You either answer an awfully personal question about yourself, or you must perform the dare. Okay, wait, so if I don't want to answer the question, I get to pick the dare. You wish. We decide whether it's a truth or dare. <laughs> if you don't do as you're told, you drink. So, have you slept with anyone in Villador? No. Are you for real? <laughs> Maybe the guy has standards. <laughs> Fall in love first and all that crap. Yeah, good luck with that. Not everyone is like you, Ro. 
Okay. Your turn. I want to hear you play. Fuck off. Wait, what do you mean? I'll drink. Forget about it. You play an instrument. Never mind. I drank. Moving on. She used to play the ukulele. Really? Guys, moving on. <laughs> Aiden, you play for Ro, and I dare you to ask Ro to sing. It's awful. There you go. There. Let's hear those pipes, Ro. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you asked for it. You're my ragamuffin. <laughs> you might think I'm tough and all, but I always have a ball with you. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> You're my ragamuffin. I know it's just a silly name, but you set my heart aflame. It's true. Ooh. Good Lord, shoot me. Shoot me dead before I have to hear another note. Wow, man, that was... That was something. Okay, enough of this. Anything you want to ask the master assassin here? I always wondered about that hit list. Shut up, bro. It's not your turn. <clears throat> um... How did the hit list start? What did you do after the escape from Watts? Oh yeah, the, the hit list. How did it start? With a bastard who had to pay for what he did. It started with one. Then there was another one. And then a whole bunch of them. But who was the first one? That's another question. Drink. No, he's just making you answer the first one. Who cares what he asked? It started way before that. When I escaped from Waltz. Frank helped me. He showed me that there's something else I can do with all my anger. Back then, I thought I'd join them. Be a night runner someday. <sighs> Who was I kidding? They were wiped out at the VNC Tower. Frank lost almost everyone. The night runners fell. Frank started to drink, gave up on life, on himself. <laughs> so, I'm not a night runner. But at least I have my list. <sighs> Good night. Did I ask the wrong question? That's the beauty of this game, Pilgrim. <laughs> Sooner or later, you get to the wrong question. I'll see you soon, I guess. <laughs> see you soon, dude. That was a fun little game. Mm. Mm. Gajo! Oh. Here you are. Thank you. Thank you for the vodka. Thank you. Let's drink! For me? And another year in this shithole. <laughs> You're not the worst, you know. Oh, are you finally warming up to me? Nah, it just means there are worse assholes. And that I'm drunk. Where's <laughs> Levan? I saw her with you. Now we played the game and I asked the wrong question. How the hit list started. <sighs> gajo, gajo. You got her thinking about the past. Listen. And I'm not telling you this because I like you. <laughs> I don't even fucking know why I am telling you this. But never, never ask Levan about her past. You get it? Good. Now, get lost. It's my birthday. <laughs> Have a good evening, dude. Uh, talk to Juan again.
I think I better go to sleep first and then head back to the ship. I think this is the way to go home. Yeah, I live next to Jay. There we go, home sweet home. Right. And then we'll head back to the ship. Boing. There we go. All right, just up this line. Goddamn renegades attacking the tent now. Oh. Oh. I keep mashing it when. Now I should mash it. There we go. Oh. Over this side. For a train, you'll be waiting a while. Right, <clears throat> Matt will not forgive the renegades for that. Let's find this pansy ass little bitch. To the dog dog. Shh. Didn't you listen to the briefing? We're gonna be in the rest of these days. I just scrubbed the deck. It's well, like when you nice. wash your car. This way. <laughs> he is a snack, isn't he, dear? Care to join? More the merrier. No, thank you. Oh, if I embarrassed you, I'm sorry, I do have that effect on people. I'll wait for you, but make it quick. <laughs> I must admit, I admire your <clears> persistence. <throat> Almost curious what you do after I send you packing, yet again. You'll regret it. Sixteen-year-old Highland single malt. Bottled a year before the pandemic broke out. <clears throat> I've read that one barrel of this stuff sold at auction for over half a million dollars. <sighs> what a sublime present. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
<clears throat> now. Go on. <clears throat> to your health, handsome. <clears throat> what can I say? You broke down my defenses. So, you're still after those lamps. Did Matt tell you why he wanted them? <clears throat> why he really wanted them? Yeah, to take control of the TV tower. Wait, he's serious? Mm -hmm. Is he crazy? Nobody tried that for over a decade. Hmm. Why? Is it dangerous? So I guess it's dangerous. That's what the lamps are for. But lamps need electricity to run. The last I heard, the juice ain't flowing there. People have tried to take it without power. Heroes and fools alike. All ended up as volatile snacks. That's Matt's problem. What do you care? I care because something's not right. Can't you sense that as well, Aiden? <clears throat> Matt wants to protect the city. Matt wants to prepare to defend the city from the butcher's coming attack. So we should start building him a monument, right? Only problem? The butcher isn't planning any attack. How do you know? I have my spies. Among the renegades as well. Since the end of the war, we have occupied the city center. While the colonel squats in the dam. One push of a lever. And half the city will find itself under toxic water. The colonel is not stupid. He knows war would be the end of everything. Hmm. So why did the renegades attack the canteen? So why did the butcher attack the canteen? That's in the city center. Good question. Maybe it wasn't the colonel who gave the order. Something more is going on. It's something we don't yet understand. What about these fucking lamps? What about the UV lamps? Why does he want them then? Jack is hiding something. For a while now, he's been ordering way more lamps than he could possibly need. And then some of those lamps always disappear. No accounting for them once we deliver. What do you got in mind? Why would Jack skim UV lamps? And here, friend, the mystery takes flight. Jack never got over the fact that he didn't defeat the Butcher back when he had the chance, years ago. He knew that if he attacked the dam, the Colonel would close the floodgates. And the rising water levels would push the chemicals up out of the ground, burning through everything that lives in this city. It's been a stalemate for over ten years. Each waiting for the other to make a move. But then, someone turned the power on and something changed. And the renegades attack the canteen. Uh, don't have time for these I'm games. I'm here for my health, Juan. I need the lamps to to find out what happened to your sister, right, Aiden? I told you I got my spies. Might be able to find something out about Waltz and your sister, specifically about the GRE scientist you and Matt are trying to contact. I'd even say with my resources, I can find this person faster than Matt. I actually doubt he's able to find them at all. Um, How do I know you're not using me to make a movie your own? I'm not your enemy, Aiden. It's a shame you don't see that. You'll get your lamps. You just gotta talk to Demolan. Who's he? He's my man. Sent him out to search for more lamps, but he hasn't checked in for a while. Where can I find him? Around here, last I heard from him. Find him. Then come back to me here afterward. You got it. Deal. Hey, enjoy your company, but I'll need you to go now. There we get on with it. Right. Well, I've got the information I need. Now I've got to go and find his friend. Wherever he is.
haven't eaten a thing today. Is about 128. Okay. That direction. Heard someone calling out. See you, asshole. Off with his head! Fucking... Whoa! Damn! Cuts through him like a hot knife through butter! Hey! Um, excuse me. Uh. 
Um. Hi. Time to get up. Who the fuck was that? Out. He's almost down. Ow! Let's heal up a bit. I mean <clears throat> Oh Huh Damn Go trophy. Uh, 
Hey. Good job, man. You showed him. You're a goddamn superhero. That beast had us trapped here. Wouldn't go away. It attacked us right as we got here. Mark got hurt pretty bad. We barely escaped and huddled up here. Finally went quiet not long ago. We thought that thing had wandered off. Next thing we hear is you banging on our barricade and then it all started again. I'm looking for Demolin. You guys seen him? Up top. Uh, Thanks. Come on. Let's get you to a doctor. You saved us. Up top. Ah, oh, there we go. Demolin? Oh. Hey, you're Demolin, right? I'm Aiden. Not bad. Not bad. Aiden. Nice to meet you. Your skills are exceptional. And you don't look like a peacekeeper to me. So who are you? Talk more about yourself. I'm a pilgrim. I haven't been here long. A pilgrim? Did you travel far to reach the city? Quite a long way, yes. Why? Have you been to Marseille by any chance? I'm sorry. I never heard of the place. My hometown. I wonder what's become of it. Huh. And what was Marseille like? My father was a shopkeeper. He sold paints. Artists from all over the world would come especially for this one shade of Ten Hours Bleu. It was a famous shop. And my dearest memory is of how it smelt. Here, the only scent is of damp rags, or sweat, or rotting flesh. And the colors? There <laughs> are only two. Day or night. But hey, you didn't come to listen to my memories. Juan told me to check up on you and the lamps. Ah, the lamps. Piece of cake, he says. <laughs> No such luck. We found a few, but it wasn't what you would call a bountiful harvest. And it came at great cost. The corporal killed by the beast outside has a brother in the unit. He will be devastated. He is at present with a squad down south on the lower dam promenade. They have not reported in. That doesn't sound good. We need to find him. The boy's mother lost her husband in a dark zone just last week. Now, a son. If her other son were to perish, it would be too much for any mother to bear. I'll try to find him. Okay. The boy's name is Sebastian. The islands are a dangerous area. Worse since the renegades overran them. Hurry. The faster you go, the more likely you'll find him alive. Okay. Well. That'll do for this video. Thanks for what you did out there, man. You saved our asses. If you like what you saw, because I don't think I'll get out of time to go and get these lamps in this video. Oh. Hello. Death took extra. Um. Ah, oh, Death took um, Saint Paul Island and you found Lost Lands. We're going to have to start reacting to here. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. And also, if you want to see more content from me, also consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you know as of when I upload. I also have a Twitch channel at Asbel underscore gaming 86. So feel free to come over and follow us there too. Anyways, thanks for joining us, and I'll catch you all in the next one.